Hi everyone. Finally making this video of the latest um, way that I have the van set up. It's kind of similar to my Van Bliss video because I've gone from the hammock back to a cot. I'll start in the front. Hopefully you can see this. This container sits in my front seat. It's got a lot of miscellaneous stuff in it. This is the bag that I take to the library in Starbucks to put my tablet and my phone in, my electronics. This is a miscellaneous backpack down here. This is my planner bag. I've, I've downsized to just a few items in my planner bag. Um, this is another miscellaneous backpack. Actually, this backpack can also go into work with me. It's got like the book I'm reading, my planner, some other things. But sometimes I don't take that into work. It just depends on what I'm doing. So this is just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Um, underneath... Let me unlock the door here. Uh. Underneath the miscellaneous backpack is a bin that has some shoes in it and slippers. Okay, and those shoes are like the tennis shoes that won't fit into my shoe organizer here because the door won't close otherwise. I have one of these um, elastic loops that holds my sweaters that I wear when I'm cold and I usually take one of these in either to work with me or Starbucks because you know it's always cold in AC after you've been in it for about 20 minutes you're cooled off and the teacher I work with keeps it really cold in our room this is a hoodie and this is just a um, zip up jacket this is my side door I only have one sliding door because my car is old. It's a 1996 Mercury Villager. Found this mesh netting that's meant for a patio door in a house. I found it for $6.99 at a thrift shop and just cut the bottom of it off. Usually the magnet gets caught on the side of the car when I'm coming in and out and that's fine. Works for me. got this idea from one of the um, members of the group. I had two of these three plastic shelf bins. So I took the top off of one and added two to the three one. And so now I have a five one. And the remaining bin is here on top of my cot. So this small one here that's just the single one has all my tank tops underwear and socks in it and then these are all my clothes in the five and that's all the clothes I have for right now I haven't moved into um, winter wear yet I'll probably start doing that at the end of this month or the beginning of next month I do have two long sleeve black shirts though in here that I can wear underneath some of my t-shirts this cot I got for free on Craigslist the woman wanted 40 I offered her 30 which was all the cash I had at the time, and told her that I was living in my van using a hammock and I wanted to go back to a cot, and she gave it to me. Brand new cot, brand new cot mattress, no scrapes, no nicks, no nothing, and it's the one you find at Walmart for, I think, 50 45 or 50 brand new. So what I'm using is the mattress that came with it, and it came in this cover. A cheap sleeping bag I found at the thrift shop and two blankets all tucked underneath this big beach towel that I had a while back from Walmart the beach towel is 72 inches long by 30 inches wide and I have two of them if you look at my van bliss video this beach towel used to be on the bed now it's my wall Let me show you the table I found a few months ago <clears throat> at a thrift shop. It's a small writing table. It tilts down so that you can draw on it. These bins are, came in a four pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And I just binder clipped them together with three small binder clips on each bin. And then bungeed them to the table. 
This holds all my bedside stuff if you were in a regular house. It has an air freshener, some headphones, my water, and this is water even though it's a McDonald's cup. My medicine I take at night, my knife, some scissors, some miscellaneous things, and then my tissue that I use as toilet paper. On top of this bin that has the underwear and stuff, I have two plastic bags that I use to buy groceries or take laundry into the laundromat, a clean towel, and my knee brace. I've had to pull my knee brace back out because the other day I hurt my knee at work. I just tweaked it a little bit, so I took the knee brace back out. This is a Dollar Tree um, pop-up hamper, and I just use that for my laundry. And it sits behind the driver's seat so it can it can expand as I get close I just did laundry last night so there's only like two items in there this is the blanket I sleep with when it's cold it's the fleece blanket the two fleece blankets that I've had for a while I'm gonna turn the fan on it's hot out it's the two fleece zebra blankets that I had that I sewed end to end to make longer they were two dollars and 88 cent each at Walmart this is just a pouch that has some electronic stuff in it. Um, when I go to Starbucks, I take the two cords that I use for my um, phone and tablet in with me. So that just stays there to put them back in. I'm going to be buying two more so this can be put away in my permanent bag. So I'll probably do that today. Go buy two more of these USB cords to keep in the blue bag that stays in the electronics bag. My little setup here at night is I have a fan, 12 volt fan that was given to me by a friend and a van dweller. And I just take my tablet, this is my TV at night, and I just took one of these baby clothes hangers and a binder clip and clipped my tablet to it. And usually the tablet is on this side, closer to the head. And I download movies off of Amazon Prime for free and I watch movies or TV shows. Right now I'm currently watching the TV show Suits. I think it has the first four or five seasons on Amazon Prime for free and I'm on season two right now, getting ready to start season three. And so I just download them and I delete them after I've watched them so it doesn't take up any space. This is just two regular pillows inside a um, body pillow bag. This bin sits next to my head. It's a miscellaneous bin. It's got all kinds of things in it. It's got a basket with bags for trash bags, lotion, um, a water bottle, a small planner, baby wipes, my laundry detergent, um, all kinds of things. Towel, I mean not towels, washcloths, everything. When the van is starting to smell a little funky, I'll take one of these fabric softener sheets and just tuck it somewhere under the bed or on the side somewhere. I don't use these in my laundry because fabric softener sheets put a coating a coating on your clothing and it's not good. I don't like the way it, it, it feels or smells on my clothes. But I do like it for freshening the van. I'll just tuck it in one of the pockets or something or down behind something until I don't smell it anymore and then I pull it out and trash it. This bungee cord goes here and I hang all kinds of stuff on it. Right now some washcloths are drying. This is my frog collection for now. I do collect frogs and I have a small box in storage with most of them but a good friend gave me these and so these are my bells that stay in the van. I have another co-worker and good friend whose mother and she makes cards by hand and she always gives me several cards at a time and so I keep them in this pencil pouch from the Dollar Tree and every once in a while I'll flip through and change the card that shows through the plastic window. It's my artwork. Now, I know I had said that I wanted to see everyone's toilet solution. This is mine. I've only used this once for pooping in in an emergency. And of course it's clean. And all it is is it's the top on top of a dollar, I mean a Walmart $3 bucket. I think the top container part cost me 12 
it's ready to go with a clean bag in it actually two clean bags but it also has in it its own small bucket with a bag in it which would catch everything and be easier to take out I have a Dollar Tree water jug the big one with a McDonald's cup in it I usually pee in the McDonald's cup and dump it out right away but if I don't dump it out right away it stays in here until I'm somewhere where I can dump it in conspicuously and the reason I kept the Dollar Tree um, geyser crystal geyser water jug was I thought it was really neat I cut the top off of it and I haven't decided what I'll use it for I may leave it in here and just use the toilet to pee into the big water jug I haven't decided <clears throat> this is my sink station it's in a metal tin that I found at a thrift shop this is the bowl that I use as a sink and this is where I dump the water as I need I use this only when I'm parked at um, a parking area that's not um, got people around because it is quite noisy so if you're thinking of buying one of these be prepared to know that when you pump it makes a lot of noise so be prepared for that you cannot put oil on this because then it will get into your water I didn't do like everyone else does and put the thing on here I didn't do that I just use the handle as is and there's not much water in this container which is why you're not seeing a good stream usually there's a much bigger stream but I just use the handle as is and this handle has a lock on it if you lock it it will just continue to pour out so it slides up and then if you press and then slide down it will lock this controls the stream to make it stronger or um, not as strong so I did not put the end on like most people do I thought it was a waste of time and money under my bed I just went to Dollar Tree the other day and they had cat litter I decided I would try it out I haven't done so I keep water on this side and this is the container I was using in the mornings for my early morning peas it's just a pop top container but it was oval shaped so it fit between the legs better and it had a good handle I used to keep it inside here I have since been using the McDonald's cup but I have water in here I think there's a few more of those water jugs down in here I also in the back I have my tent and camping stuff on this side these are my running around town kind of slippers if I have to jump out until I can find a container this size skinny and long I'm using this cardboard box I found it just has some Ziploc bags in two different sizes the two gallon and the quart it also carries my jewelry container I found this container at Michaels for five dollars this is jewelry that won't fit in the container because of it's too big this is my dishwashing basin and this is what I sit my containers of propane in to cook this box is my food I'm also looking for a container that fits this size this is where all my silverware is my dishwashing soap this is my oatmeal I have rice applesauce breakfast biscuits Jeff to go ramen noodles I don't use the flavor packets in these and if you look at the sodium and whatnot you probably shouldn't either I have bowls paper plates cutting board apple core and slicer tea 
condiments. Every time I go somewhere, I take condiments, extras. Sugar for tea, nuts, all kinds of random food items. I do plan on going to the grocery store. I did go to the grocery store the other day, but that was to replenish my stuff at work. Because I work a full-time job, I have a mini fridge at work and lots of food at work. The only time I need to be prepared is when my job is out of session. It's a school, so weekends and any kind of school holidays. I'll go around and show you the back. Hopefully nothing falls out. Yay, nothing fell out. So this is the back of the bed. This is my hammock, which I had been sleeping in for the last couple of months. This bag has all my camping stuff in it. These two bins are tools, and the drawers are on the other side behind the bucket that I use for the bathroom. This is my tent, and it goes all the way through. Some windshield wiper, no, this is not windshield wiper fluid. This is um, antifreeze. On the side of the bucket, Sorry about that. My hand hit it. On the side of the container that's next to my bed, I have my Mr. Buddy heater and a blue bag with other car fluids and jumper cables. I will show you the tool drawers. I forgot to do that. <laughs> so, the two white tool drawers. <clears throat> I'll move this. Oh, before I go to that. This is just every every day or two I change this bag on this little bitty baby bungee. That's my trash bag. This is a hand towel and this is a larger hand towel. These two towels are only used when I am um, taking what I call a hoe bath in the vehicle. This is my toiletries kit. This is what I use at the shower in the gym, or now I'm showering at work. This is the bag I put my clothes in when I go to the gym or at work to change into. This is my big towel that I use that a friend gave me um, when I shower at the gym or at work. And this is a back scrubby that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is my camping chair. This is a Bible and a spray, small Dollar Tree spray bottle filled with alcohol. Now if I move the toilet bucket, I have two drawers that have all my tools. Bungees, drill, drill pieces, zip ties, and this has miscellaneous tools that I don't get to as often but still use. Down here next to the sink area, this is the top that goes on this. I have the CVS brand of Mr. Broner's Castile Soap, which is really good soap. You can use it for laundry, your body, dishes, whatever. A spray bottle full of just water. And rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is a good deodorizer. It's a good cleaner as well. I usually keep the sink situation set up like this. It doesn't move anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. And when I finish washing up and I dump, then I add more water, dump, and then when I'm all finished, I dump this container outside. And because it's cast seal soap being used, it's very um, not beneficial, but harmless on the, the earth, the planet, whatever. It doesn't hurt the animals or anything that might get into it. <clears throat> I think that's it. Um, I really love the idea of this, and I cannot remember 
the group member's name who had done this, but if I think of it, I will add it to the description if I find the post that he posted it his on. I do think I'm going to buy one more of the three drawer because normally it's just the one, two, three drawers. I'm going to buy one more of the three drawer one and I'll be adding this one to it to make a four drawer and I'm going to replace this with the four drawer. So I'll have the underwear on it in the top then I'll put these items in one bin and then these two tool items in the other two bins. So I think that's going to really, really clean up the look because I can use this container um, either up front or underneath with the water or at work. So there's always a place, a home for this container because it came from my job in the first place. I don't know what else. This is what the front looks like. Right now I have trash in that McDonald's bag, but this is what the front looks like. So there's always stuff in the passenger seat. I don't tend to ride anybody, but if I do, I can just pick up that bin and put it back here and pick up the bin on the floor and put it back here. That's a piece of Reflectix I keep in the front when I'm parked. Day or night, I keep that Reflectix in. I will be buying a new roll because that's the, like the last leftover of the roll I had. So I do want a longer one to give me a little more privacy. I don't put Reflectix in my side windows in the front just because it looks less conspicuous. And if someone's walking by and they look in, they just see the front seat, it's no big deal. I have a black curtain, I have two curtains. I have a black curtain that shows when you're looking in, and then I have this light blue curtain which is a little thicker and also has the black outside on it that's on my side, so you really don't see any light. This towel, which is the extra long beach towel from Walmart, is also 72 inches long by 30 inches. It's a nice piece of art on my wall, and it's one of my favorites. Like I said, if you check out my video that it says, I found Van Bliss, this one used to be on the bed. So I washed it and put it up as a wall, and then I used this one on the bed. They used to both be on the bed. They were sewn back to back, and I had a piece of foam in the middle. But I like this because then I can just take the towel off when the bed, you know, like a sheet. You would wash it like a sheet. You take the towel off, you wash it, put it back on, it's clean. So like I said, I just did laundry last night, which was Friday night. I'm on my way right now to Starbucks. Um, I'm going to eat oatmeal. I like going to Starbucks. They'll give me a free hot water and I can eat my oatmeal and sit there for however many hours I need and watch videos and get out of the heat. It's going to be almost 100 today, so there's no way that I'm going to be staying. Um, I'm not going to be staying anywhere outside, so I'll do Starbucks today. I won't go to the church because they're having a yard sale, indoor-outdoor yard sale at the church that I go to. I forgot to talk about my curtains. These back curtains, which I'll be buying a few more for winter, these back curtains are not curtains actually, and I don't think you can see it. Um, it's gray on one side, black on the other. These are actually packing blankets, um, and I got it at Harbor Freight. All I did was cut them and then sew to hem. So it's one that I cut in half, and it's the perfect length. Because as you can see, I still have some room from where the window ends to there. And it keeps it really warm in here. And it keeps out all manner of light. All manner. And I usually just put a binder clip right here to close that up. It keeps all the light out. No light comes in. And no light shows out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe, and catch me on Facebook under Crystal Vanner.